<laughs> Start all over again. Okay. 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 Hey guys, it is Miss Shelly. Remind me to stop the camera at 30 minutes. Okay. So that was a side note. Anywho, um, I am making this video for you guys. It's a get ready with me. Have my sister over here for support because I don't like being alone, and especially when I'm talking to myself, <laughs> it's tough like that. So, um, I am going to do a sort of like first impressions and a little bit of like just getting ready with me at all, you know. Um, um, I have a couple of products that are still like wrapped that have not opened. Um, and I want to tell you what you guys like what I think about it so I figure might as well just put it all in one video unless you guys want to see it separately I don't know you, I'll do hauls and then all that stuff you know just tell me what you guys want to see and I will record it um, so let's just start off with the video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, to my channel or follow me on social media my social media is in my um, YouTube as well so for sure, you guys. Or oh, in the description. <laughs> See, I'm, I I don't normally do this. I normally just do the um, the what is, what do I do? I do the videos, record it, and then I just do a voiceover. But now I'm just gonna do a talk through. So let's see how this goes, you guys. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right. So starting off, we are. I already put moisturizer on. I use the what is it? The Aveeno Daily Moisturizing one, which is right here. It's a sheer hydration, so I like it because it's really nice and thin and easy on the skin. It doesn't leave too much residue or anything like that, so your makeup doesn't like slide off. So that's good. And what I'm gonna be using for a primer is the Soft Focus from NYX Cosmetics um, in the color 2, medium beige. Um, so I'm gonna apply some of this on my fingertips, like a little pea size, I would say. And I'm just gonna apply with my fingers. Wow. <laughs> You're so nice. Mm -hmm. My little sister is gonna be my little sidekick when it comes to this stuff, cause. She knows about cameras. I really don't. So, <laughs> luckily, I just recently bought this new one, the one that I'm using right now, and it is amazing. Huh? What? Is it the camera name? <laughs> oh, I don't know what the camera name is. It's Sony something. It's a Sony Alpha 5000. Yeah, what she said. Sony Alpha 1000. No, 5000. <laughs> <laughs> Sony, yeah, Sony Alpha. Sony something. Um, so, now that we have the primer on, you want to go over with your foundation, of course. And the foundation that I'm going to be using today is this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless. You know, I've always been using so much of the NYX products, and well, that's for obvious reasons. But let's do some, let's do use something different, you know. So we're just going to grab a little bit of that. Not too much. And now I just need to find an applicator or I can just apply it with my beauty blender. And then I have my beauty blender and I'm just going to apply it onto my face. I like this foundation. I forgot how much I liked it. I have so many of them that I just don't use them as much anymore. So, yeah. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and use our Sculpt and Highlight duo here. It is in the color Caramel slash Vanilla. Um, it's number three. And it looks like, hold on. It looks like so. I'm gonna use the highlighting part, part or portion to highlight my face. gonna grab my mini beauty blender and my mini beauty blender I love it because you can work around these small areas here and get really in there so, Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I don't I don't know what that says, but you can mention to me after the video. So then I am going to actually set my face and then you look for my setting powder. And I'm going to use should I use this one or should I use something different? Maybe let's see you guys, let's see what I have because I have so much I don't even know. Um, let's do this one. So I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Master Fix um, Translucent Setting Perfecting Loose Powder. That's a a handful, but um, yeah. So we're gonna be using this, and it's like in the color. It's translucent, so it doesn't have a color. Um, it has just white. And I'm gonna be using my Elf brush, and it's like a nice pointed brush, and I love this brush for the reason that I love setting my under eye with it. So. I'm gonna grab a good amount of this product here, but tap off, tap off that excess because you know how I don't have too much. And before I even apply it underneath my eye, I just need to make sure that this concealer is nice and patted down so it's not creasing. And I'm gonna go in and just apply that powder in that underneath my eyelid, or my eyes, my under eye. I like this powder because it's so like soft and silky and just very nice. And now I need to do the brows because these babies are looking super thin and I just did them last night so they could look even but I don't know. They never look even to me, but then when I look at the camera, I'm like, oh wait, they look even, but then they don't, so... Yeah, so that's how that works. And I'm gonna be using for my eyebrows, let's do the Tame and Frame in the color black. It's a pomade. Um, and I'm gonna be using my angled brush, if I can find one here. Yes, and it's an e.l.f. Bra brush as well, so... Yeah, so you see, I, I use a lot of e.l.f. Currently, I normally just brush them out first just to see what I'm working with and then from there I'm going to grab a little bit of what's in here. Luckily I bought another one because I think this one's already dried out so I need to buy another. I already have another one to back it up. So um, for eyebrows I do have an eyebrow tutorial so I will be skipping this part so if you want to see that eyebrow tutorial it should be in my channel. Um, if you guys want an updated one, let me know. I can definitely do an updated one for you guys, but I'll be right back. Let me put these brows on. You guys, and as you can see, the brows are on. And I think this is the first time ever in my whole entire lifetime that I've gotten them, them on. This is perfect. So freaking perfect. I can't stop checking them out. Anywho, so let's continue on to the next thing. Let's continue on to the next thing. Um, and what am I going to do next? Oh yeah, so I need to set now my face with the powder that I am forever and I don't know how long forever will I stay in love with it. That is a it is, dun, 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 dun. it is the Hydra Touch powder from NYX. It is, um, basically like a hydrating powder, if that makes any sense. It's like saying glossy is matte and matte is glossy. But I'm telling you guys, this powder does not make, <laughs> I was just thinking about what I just said. Um, this powder is like, it mattifies your skin, but it doesn't make you look patchy or dry, which is what I love because, oh, well, you know you can't be looking patchy all the time, so. on your neck oh and by the way I did not mention this brush is from BH Cosmetics it cost me like what with the whole pack it was like $12 it was on the Cyber Monday sale and OMG this to pack on freaking powder is the most amazing thing ever and then it's so like soft it's, it's an amazing brush I I am definitely all for BH Cosmetics brushes at this point in my life so anywho so let's just continue on and see what happens next. Um, I am going to be using my Love Contrasol palette. 
sorry um that is from nyx professional cosmetics or nyx professional makeup um it's like my favorite freaking palette you guys it has everything you need it has like what is it nine shadows has two highlights it has two contours and then eyebrow products at the bottom um honestly when i saw it i was like oh maybe not oh. but i look at it and like it has colors that i would use every single day so this palette is definitely so worth it like worth your money for sure um so just to start off we are going to grab a blending brush of course and i'm trying to see if this one has like any leftover eyeshadow from my other palettes but it doesn't so this one is my favorite blending brush i don't know if you guys like from the beginning like number one video that i have on my youtube channel this one's a blending brush that you will always see and i'm probably gonna have to buy a new one or like a, something else and this is the only brush that like i got it from ipsy so i didn't have to really pay too much for it and i don't know how much they really cost but this is like a luxe brush it's a tapered blending brush it's um 205 just if you guys wanted to know um and so yeah so starting off oh now i can close this because i realized this has a mirror Woo! okay so first off what i'm going to do is i want to go for something like nice and very purple yeah let's go for something like that so what, starting off what i'm going to do is i'm going to create my crease my crease or transition color as you would call it um i'm going to start off with this color right here it's like a reddish slash brown slash that's it <laughs> so i'm gonna start off with just using this and putting it in the crease um and normally i want to keep it only in the crease and then once i'm ready to build it up towards my eyebrow that's when i'll start building it up but you want to keep it nice and simple and low for you um let me zoom in a little for you guys to see So, grab some more product if you need it, and you're just going to keep on building that color until you get your desired crease color. And then from there, you're going to continue to blend whatever leftover product you have on your brush towards the top. And that gives that, like, if that look that you are wearing multiple shadows when you're really just wearing one, because you are, like, um blending this main color that you created and increase up towards your top of your eyebrow so it looks lighter So from there on, I am going to do a different brush because we want to define your crease a little bit more. And if I can find a good crease brush. Okay. So this one right here is from e.l.f. Okay. Again, e.l.f. I'm sorry, you guys. I know. Like, e.l.f. brushes are so good. Like, the $3 ones. And then there's only one $1 brush that I actually like, which is a blending brush. So I'll show you guys, show you guys that in just a bit. But anywho, so what you're going to do is now grab, go back in here to your palette and I'm going to grab this deep purple because I love purple and I'm going to just start that on the crease. I feel like I'm running out of air. As you can see you guys I am still just keep on I keep on building up color depending on how intense you want it how dark you want it that's what you will build off of um, so I'm just going for something like I don't know maybe I'm okay with this in depth how it looks right now so I don't I don't think I'm gonna add any more maybe just a tiny bit more and I'm just gonna do that like again I said in the crease concentrate this purple on the crease because then you have that light red brown slash nothing else <laughs> um color on your transition area and 
I'm going to go back into that my brush and I'm going to grab a little bit, like a little tiny bit, like a dot of that. And I am going to try to blend out this purple with the red slash brown mm -hmm. <laughs> color. <laughs> I am very descriptive with my colors, you guys, okay? So that's one thing you guys will know about me. I'm like, I need to describe every single inch of it to you guys so you guys can know what undertone it has, what color it is, what it looks like to me, and what color it gives off, so. Don't the colors have names on, on the, 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 the kit? Um, on this one? It just says one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow, that would be so much helpful. <laughs> Shade number six. That's the one that I'm talking about. And see you number four. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, <laughs> let's just stop it there. Anywho, so now what I am going to do, now that I have like a little bit of the crease here, I want to build up that crease, um, that crease. Oh my God, I cannot think of this. Um, 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 um. Blend? What the fuck were you just in the last time? I'm just gonna pack on some color on this area of the eye, because I cannot think of what it is, so. Bear with me, you guys. I'm telling you, this is my first time recording this. Don't judge me. I'm really bad at it. Okay, so I'm gonna use a flat head brush and from Eco Tools. This comes in a little kit of like six brushes, I think it is, or four. I don't know if they changed it from now or by now, but um, let's do. I'm trying to decide if I want to do shade number 13 or shade number one. One. Oh, wait, no, that one. Um, hold on, you guys, let me figure this out. I think it's shade number one, yeah. Shade number one, or shade number... Oh, well, it's not 13, it's nine. So let's do... <sighs> okay, let's do this one. That's my favorite one, so let's do that one. So I'm just gonna grab some of this product, of course, and I'm gonna put it on this brush, and I'm gonna up pack it on here onto the... See, I can't. I can't remember. I, onto the, onto the, um, lid, lid. That's what it is. The lid. I remembered. Woo. So you guys can see a better picture of what it's looking like. It's looking like this. Oh my god, you guys can hear my stomach crawling. Um, I, I honestly, like based off of the screen that it's on the camera, I really can't tell if you guys can actually see how it looks. But I'm hoping that when I edit it, it will show what I am doing with my face. So, um, because when I look at it in the mirror, it looks pretty good. Um, and then... What do I want to do? Do I want to add some other liner? Like, I feel like I've been vibing off of that a little. Um, maybe I should. What do you think? I should, should I do a wing? A what? A wing liner. Mm, what kind of uh, lip color? I'm going to do like deep purple. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to skip the wing for now because I do wing like every single time of my life. And so I feel like... I should do something different for a change. What do you guys think? Um, let's do... Oh yeah, so I bought these new lashes. I'm super excited about them because they were normally really thick banded. So like I didn't like them because they were like... The, the band was like super, super bad. I couldn't even get them on. But just... I just saw them today and I found that they have a thick, I mean a thinner band now. So I'm excited to try these out. Um, this is in the number, okay this is Wicked Lashes 21 and it's name um, on the fringe. Number is 20, oh wait, it said 21. Um, and I am gonna apply this as always with my lashes. I apply with my duo lash glue in the shade black. I do not like the transparent one because I feel like the transparent one is not, um, what is it called? It's not sticky enough for your, for like, your eyelids, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to say. So, um, I'm going to do this off camera. 
see you in just a bit. Okay guys, I am back. But I have to be slightly, slightly quiet due to the fact that my baby is sleeping. And she is like, I think she's having a bad dream or something because she's like crying in her sleep and it makes me so sad. Okay, I'm gonna finish this video, upload it, and have it for you guys. Alright, so I put on my lashes and I did have to snip them on the ends a little just because they were too big. But I love lashes. Like, I think they're so, so beautiful. Um, hold on, let me have you guys zoom in so you guys can see it. So I think they look really nice. They have like a crisscross type of deal, but they have like the voluminous and it's it's really nice. I sh I'll show you guys just how, how they look like in the packaging so you guys can know like what type of lashes you guys can get. But first, let's blend out these lashes so they don't look like my lashes are just with lashes on top, you know, so. Um, where's the mascara that I showed you? Put it on a tube. It's okay, it's okay. I'll just use a different one. Oh, you gotta do a review. It's right there. Oh, I know. Okay. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara from L'Oreal. Um, and to do this first, I'm gonna just blend my lashes into the lashes. But I don't, what you don't want to do though is bring the mascara up to the lashes because that's going to mess them up and you won't be able to use them too much. So what you want to do is just blend your lashes into them. So like basically from the base of your lashes all the way up into like the middle part. And then you want to do that on the same on the other side too. And then, of course, you're gonna apply some mascara on your bottom lashes. To hear that like little screeching sound? It's my sister. Her chair is like one of those ones that make noises, so she's just there moving around town because she wants to F my life. Just kidding. <laughs> See what I mean? Um, so I think this looks pretty good. Um, what I'm gonna do next though is to blend these lashes a little bit more. So then, because I don't have a wing and that like doesn't conceal them, I'm gonna put some like black liner on my tight line. So basically, the line on top of your um, lash line. And for that, I am going to be using. What's that? Lashes here. I'm going to be using. So this light on glide on and it is in the color jet black it's a waterproof eyeliner and so i'm gonna put that in my tight line i feel like my daughter's gonna be woken up by my sister because literally she has not stopped moving <laughs> since this video started so it's okay though i love her i love her to death um and then oh my gosh you guys need to see my desk and now I understand youtubers when they mean my desk is a mess there you go um, so I'm gonna grab my BH cosmetics um, I don't know what they call this it's 124 um, and I'm gonna use this for contouring and I love this brush because it's nice and fluffy and hold on let me zoom it out yeah it's nice and fluffy and like it's a it's like a pointer brush it's similar to that like oh like hold on like this one only like 10 times bare and it is so soft, I'm telling you, so soft and so smooth on the skin. Um, oh, you know, I just thought about someone. So, hey, this is a shout out for Mary Kate from work. She told me to do a shout out for her, but then she was like, no, I'm just kidding, don't do it. And then now I'm doing it. So, shout out to you, baby, I love you. Thought you would, I wouldn't do it, huh? I thought I wouldn't, but guess what? I did. And so, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I'm grabbing these two shades here and I'm mixing them together. And I know this may be looking a little bit harsh, but it's okay. Just watch the magic of the brush. So you just keep on blending and blending and blending and blending. Keep on blending and blending and blending. And then for me, like, I like a contour that you can see because I feel like, because I don't have like, cheekbones like I mean obviously I probably do I mean how my cheeks be up but um 
Like I feel like I don't have as a defined cheekbone like other people do. So like when they do a contour, it looks super super like nice and fierce on them. But rather like me, it looks more like, <laughs> yeah, you look weird now. But it's okay because I like doing my contour dark and so people can see it that they have a problem. It's okay because I won't care. Literally, I won't care. So that's how my contour looks on this side. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'll just show you a little bit. Oh, dang it. I can't see that bad, like that well because the lighting is on this side. So you guys will be able to see. I always have a hard time contouring this side, and then this one is more easier, this one's more harder. Don't know why. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my blush and um, the blush I am going to grab. I wonder, do I want to do NYX or do I want to do BH? Let's do BH Cosmetics. Oh, but that's behind the camera. Give me a second, you guys. Okay. This is the nude blush from BH Cosmetics. And I grabbed this because recently I've been into blush since my manager, she like... It's all for blush. So now I'm like, huh, what is the whole commotion? But you know what? Like my manager can like rock a blush with a contour all mixed together in her contours. And it, it, oh my God, I'm telling you, it looks so, so bomb. But when I tried to do it, I was like, it looks dumb. So <laughs> it's okay though. Um, oh, I forgot. I have to show you guys what I'm going to do. So I am going to just grab, oh, these look like contour shades. They are not contour shades. Anywho. So I'm just going to do this color, mix with this. Oh, you guys, if anybody knows me, I'm the kind of girl that's going to mix everything together to get something special. Because if it's not special, like what's the point? And, you know, like I need to do it. It makes me feel good because then I'm like, ooh, I mix a color and oh my god, this looks beautiful. Huh? Only I did it. No, you want to create it? Well, too bad. You can't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but... Okay, you guys, I am like over talking too much because my sister, she abandoned me and I'm very sad and I feel lonely. <sighs> it's okay. I'm gonna go back to my contour brush and I'm actually gonna try to at least add a little bit of definition on my nose because this nose is looking very plain. So. Now that I got my blush and my contour and my lashes on and stuff, um, let me see what else. Hey guys, probably do a highlight, a lip, and then a color today. So I am grabbing this brush from Sonia Kashuk um, collection of brushes. Um, I bought this like two a year and a half ago, so I don't think you're gonna find this brush specifically, but. Like, she has lots of collections, so she'll probably find something. So, I'm going back to my Love Contra Zal palette, and I'm going to be grabbing those two colors. The pink and the gold. Because together, they create champagne color. Still water bottle. Okay, I'm still going to add a little bit more of mascara underneath for my lash under my lashes, my bottom lashes. There you go. <laughs> and reason being is because I want them to look long and luscious and beautiful to draw people's attention. Like, hey, look at her lashes. Although she wears lashes.
for this one. Oh, and done, you guys. I think I found a contester. Or a contestant. Okay, I got it. So, I'm going to do full throttle lipstick. And it's one of my favorite, favorite lipsticks. For the reason that, let me tell you, let me explain. Um, it is a waterproof lipstick. It does not, once it's dry, it does not transfer onto anything. It doesn't transfer onto a cup. It doesn't transfer onto your partner. It doesn't transfer onto your baby. It doesn't transfer onto anything. Unless you like put a gloss on top of it, of course. But um, you have to give it a second to dry though, because if you don't, like it will transfer. But you have to just give it that second and you'll be all good to go for the whole day. The only way that it will come off though is if you're eating something greasy like a burger, fries, I don't know, anything that has a lot of oil um, that will t take this puppy off. So. Just like that. Oh, dang it, I have to clean this mess now, you guys. Oh, oh, the video's ending. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else that I can think of? Of course, you need to set some sp setting spray. Now, if I can find it, because my baby found my setting spray is my stash, and it's, it's really bad. Okay, so let's do some spraying. I feel like this lash is weird. Okay, doesn't matter. Whatever. Cool. Just for the video. It's coming off. Is it? I feel like it's... It's not coming off. You're just making me feel paranoid. But like, how here are my... Can you guys see it? Or is it just me? Cool. Yeah. Uh, do I really want to spray this though? It's like wasting like three spritz. Okay, no, I do want to do it. <laughs> I do want to do it. More than three strips. <laughs> Too much. And that was the matte setting spray from NYX Cosmetics as well. Um, and this is the final result, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And let me know for any other suggestions of what you guys want to see next. Um, but I think I love this look. Like I feel like I've created something similar to it. But I haven't done something like this in a while. So it's a beautiful look. So, um... Yeah, I said so like three times already, so <laughs> let's end this video. So, oh, here it is again. Because I don't want you guys to say that I have said that word so many times. And there it goes. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is the finished result. I hope you guys thumbs up this video if you guys liked it. And um, be sure to subscribe, comment, and follow me on social media. Bye.